they say yolo you only live once no you own you don't you live once and then you live forever either an eternity with god or an eternity in hell how are people going to see the difference between the righteous and the unrighteous if we are the same as everybody in this world we must be different we must be set apart we must be holy the life that we live today determines eternity because god calls you holy when you are a child of god you become holy that is your inheritance so how can we as children of god say we are children of god but neglect holiness many in our generation settle for the anointing settle for gifts if we claim to be born again christians we must resemble god you must die so that god can come alive in you yeah and welcome back to my channel in today's video i want us to discuss the nature of god becoming like god what are the four attributes of god's nature that we should adapt in order for us to overcome the world let's go so what we must understand first of all is that in our day and age in our generation it is not enough to have the anointing of god it is not enough to have good characteristics it's not enough to be well behaved and have good manners we must be born again as jesus said in john 3 3 it says ye must be born again otherwise you cannot see the kingdom of god the kingdom of heaven will not be available to you unless you are born again when we talk about being a a born again believer it is not about being a well behaved or good person it is about being born of god being born of the spirit of god meaning that everything of my flesh dies and everything of the spirit of god comes alive in me i have been born with god i am dead to life death to my own self death to my death to my own uh, desires death to my own wishes and wills and i live for christ that is what it means to be born again very radical very no in between very no sugar coating you must die so that god can come alive in you and you are a born again a christian you are born of god you are born of the spirit and when we are born of the spirit of god we have the nature of god that is the evidence of us being born again that we have the nature of god if we claim to be born again christians we must resemble god if we claim to be born again christians it is important that we have the character the nature of god and we must know him and know who he is and what he is like by the spirit we can got to know god only by the spirit and if we know him by the spirit we will be like him okay so there are so many things about God's character, so many things about God's nature, but I want to discuss four of the most important ones for us because of what I have been seeing in our generation. It's something that I really want to talk about because I believe that many in our generation settle for the anointing, settle for gifts and uh, settle for at least i don't kill anybody at least i don't drink i don't smoke and that's not enough we must be born of god in order to overcome this world so the number one character the number one nature attribute of god is his holiness it is his holiness god is holy that's what makes that's what makes him god god is holy and that is what makes him who he is there is such a great significance in the bible of us seeing when people have visions of god that the angels a multitude of angels surround him and cry out all day long holy 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 is the lord god almighty the one who was who is and who is to come holy 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 is the lord god almighty isaiah said it when he saw him he said he is so holy and i am not like how can i be i live among unclean men i am an unclean man with unclean lips and i live amongst the people who are unclean how can i how can I please this holy God? Like he's so holy that that's all he's like his holiness. Oh, you guys, his holiness, the holiness of God is something that is so, so significant. So how can we as children of God say we are children of God, but neglect holiness? Holiness is not just 
a way you talk. Holiness is not a way you behave. Holiness is what you have to become because God calls you holy. When you are a child of God, you become holy. That is your inheritance. But so many of us neglect that part. It has become a taboo word in the kingdom of God. Nobody wants to talk about holiness. Nobody wants to tell anybody how to dress. Nobody wants to tell anybody who to be with, how to not to fornicate because we are afraid that people will be offended. People will be hurt. People's feelings will be crushed. And that's not what it is about. If we want to be like God, we must be holy. There is no option. Holiness is not an option. It is mandatory. For children of God, you must be holy. We must be holy as children of God because it is God's nature. If God was not holy, another word for holy is to be consistent, meaning that what he says he will do, he will he will do it means that there is no darkness in him it means that there's no evil in him it means that there's no lie in him the truth abides in him light abides in him that is what we must be also a holy person we have made holiness something like it is not attainable nobody can be holy only god is holy and we cannot be even though that's not scriptural that's not in alignment with the word of god he calls us a holy nation a royal priesthood why would he call us that if we are not that we can be holy if we are born of god and if we take up his nature the second thing about God's nature is that he is eternal. God is not bound to time and season as we are. He is not a God who is like, oh, I'm running out of time or tomorrow, today. No, he's eternal. He is the one who was, who is, and the one who is to come. God is eternal. Now, what that means for our nature is that we can never be too bound by circumstances. Our mindset has to be eternal. The life that we live today determines eternity this is just like a mini mini spectrum of the eternal life that awaits us when we get to heaven when we get to eternity we are not chill like this life is just how do i say this this life is like an appetizer okay this life is like the appetizer we are going somewhere and our mindset has to reflect that if we are always just so concerned about what we're feeling today and what we want tomorrow and what we felt last week we will never have an eternal nature we will never have the nature of god god has given us a limited time here on earth because he knows that there's suffering there's pain here on this earth but he has promised us an eternity with him in that we can rest and that we have assurance that our God is eternal meaning you can never run out of time you can never be too late you can never be too early because God is eternal and he's not bound to times and seasons as we are he did it for our benefit here on earth but we must know that after this life we are going to heaven we are going to the promised land the place that he has prepared for us to be with him eternally and I it, it just bothers me when I see believers who do not want to live with that eternal mindset but are always so concerned about their now i want to live now they say yolo you only live once no you own you don't you live once and then you live forever either an eternity with god or an eternity in hell and that's what it is god is eternal and when we have that nature of knowing that our end goal is not just this life it's not i'm 21 i'm 22 let me enjoy my life no it is about eternity everything we do today has to do with our eternity we must have an eternal mindset the nature of God is eternal our God is eternal and as we become like him we are not thinking about this small picture here on earth we are thinking about eternity the third thing that is the nature of God that is important for us as his children is his immutability. It means that he is the same yesterday, today, and forever. It means that he does not change. It means that even when we are unfaithful, he remains faithful. Even if we decide to be unholy, he is holy. Even if we decide to lie, he will remain truth because he is he is I am. He is Yahweh. I am that I am. He is always what he says he is and he will never change. Now for us believers, I think many of us change in different settings sometimes. We are different in church and when we are with our friends, we are different in um in church settings or in Bible study groups and we are at home, which is a big 
problem because God is the same. If God would not always be the same as he said he would be, we would have a big problem. We cannot go back into the Bible and said, Father, as you promised David, or Father, as you promised Abraham, or as you said to the Israelites, you are saying to me, it is because God is always the same and he remains the same that we can rely on him today. The God who was from eternity, from the beginning of time, we can depend on him today in our season and our every circumstance circumstance because he remains the same and I had like one example this week of a person when I was shopping again this person I paid at the at the cashier and she was very unfriendly and I remained even more friendly and when I left God told me something about like a lesson about that he said if the person across the table is unfriendly it does not give you a right to become unfriendly yourself it doesn't mean that we are dumb it doesn't mean that we are stupid it means that we have integrity that's the word God has integrity he does not change because he is who he says he is when we are children of god we must have integrity integrity is so so important in these days because when god elevates you in politics and boardrooms and business settings he wants you to be the same in the secret place as you are when you are with them so that you can proclaim him and not all of a sudden be ashamed of him because you are always the same as when you are in church as when you are on social media as wherever you are that is the nature of God and I pray that we will have that nature too that we will always be the same I don't want to be a kind of person that somebody's rude to me so I'm now rude also no I walk in love I walk in kindness because I have the nature of God even if my pride even if my circumstance would love for me to be so mean to that person in that moment I won't be because I walk in love and I walk in kindness and I have the nature of God, which will not allow me to be anything else but kind, which will not allow me to be anything else but friendly, but loving, because it is my nature as a child of God. We must be different. We must be set apart. We must be holy. We must have the nature of God so that we can overcome the world. How are people going to see the difference between the righteous and the unrighteous? How are people going to see the difference between between the godly and the ungodly if we are the same as everybody in this world if we do not have a godly nature we must have integrity and the last thing that i want to discuss today about god's nature is love to walk in love god is love it is not that he does loving things it is not that he does lovely things or says lovely no he is love it is who he is god is love whoever and does not love does not know god because god is love the bible says so if we are believers and we are born of god and we are born of the spirit but we hate people we don't like our neighbors we speak evil about people we plot evil in our hearts we do not have the love of christ for others for ourselves for our neighbors for our family for our church for the kingdom of god we are not born of god i am so sorry to tell you but if we are not loving people we have missed the point entirely love is not something that comes easy but love has to be our nature we must walk in love because god is love as children of god that will be automatically without us even struggling for it it will be our nature if we truly are born of god if we truly walk with god we will love others we will be loving people like for me it is so important that the person that i am with my family with people i like i am the same person with people i don't like because i choose to walk in love i choose to walk in love each and every day i have to wake up and choose love because it is my nature it is who god has called me to be he has called me to be a loving woman and there was one in incidents when I was um, going to an event and I was like not so uh, happy about the person <laughs> let's just say it like that and I was in the car I was driving and I kept telling myself Ashley you are not a bitter woman you are not a prideful woman you're not an angry woman you are a woman of love you are a loving and kind woman it is your nature so you must go there in love and I rebuked myself immediately and I was fine because that's what it is I have to keep it pushing it is not about me it is not about how I feel it is not about what I want it is about a godly nature so that even when people mistreat me even when people wrong me I will walk in love I will walk in integrity I will be holy 
I will be the same as always, you know. I will be like my Father in heaven. The Bible says, as you are in heaven, so you have made us here on earth. We are God's representatives here on earth. The Bible says in 1 John 5 that whatever is born of God overcomes the world. We have been set into this world to overcome it, not for it to overcome us. We are to overcome the world, but we must be born of God. We must be born again. And to be born again doesn't mean that you just change your character, you change your circle, you change your uh, your your friends or whatever. Like it has to go deeper than that it has to be something about our nature that will not allow us to be like the rest of the world we must be set apart and we must be holy it is important in this time and season that our prayers change from god give me to god make me make me holy make me like you not always give me gifts give me a uh, spiritual this give me anointing give me crowd give me followers give me influence all of these things will come as you have the nature of god because when you have god's nature you overcome the world when you are born of god you overcome the world it is important in these last days because for this end time assignment for this end time move of god that god wants to use he needs really sincere people like i'm not trying to diss anybody or come for anybody but god needs sincere people people he can count on people with pure hearts the bible says in some who can stand before the lord the one who has clean hands the one who is holy god wants holy people like so many people think oh then i'm disqualified which is not necessarily true but yes of course we have to change something about our nature before god can use us he's asked isaiah who can i send who will go for us and he had to go through a purification he touched his lips with burning coals to purify him it is something that we don't have to be perfect before god can use us but we must be holy before he can use us and if we don't think that or if we don't understand that we will always be in a trap by the enemy of pitying ourselves of justifying sin of staying who we were before um god brought us out of darkness before and we will ridicule everything that jesus has done for us because he has called us into a different light into a different life into a better dimension into a higher height but so many christians settle for things that we do not even need to be settling for so this is really all that the lord laid on my heart to say about his nature i really wanted to make it a youtube video because i didn't have um the time and the length to talk about it thoroughly as i wanted on uh, instagram make sure you follow me on instagram at ashley and uh, i pray that this word blessed you it is a word i believe for our generation god is tired he's tired of people who pray in tongues and gossip in english he's tired of people who claim to be his followers but heaven doesn't even know them he's tired of people who act he's tired of pretending he's tired of i'm anointed i lay hands and people fall but they don't have integrity they don't have love they don't have kindness they don't have his nature because anointing is not something that will prove that somebody has a loving heart the anointed men and women of god who abuse their own husbands and wives at home who are not nice and loving parents nice and loving children the people who are nice in front of their spiritual parents but their biological parents cannot even ask them for a cup of water may god have mercy on us all so that is something that i wanted to discuss it is something that god really laid on my heart that i had to pour out god bless you all so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel and i'm sure i'll see you all soon again Bye bye